Hi guys, I'm going to show you another one of my family favourite recipes, mashed potato Maya style. This video is for somebody who maybe has a little less confidence in the kitchen, maybe doesn't really get it right all the time, or if you're just looking for different ways to jazz up your mash, keep watching, this is for you. I'm going to show you how to make basic mashed potato, cheesy mash, mustard mash, Irish style mash, chilli mash and root veg mash. This is not like my other videos. This one is a little bit more fun. See these boxes? They're buttons. Now if you click any one of them buttons, you will be taken straight to that part of the recipe. So if you want to find out how to make my cheesy mash, click on the cheese. If you want to find out how to make my chilli mash, click on the chilli. I think you get the idea. Let's get started. Basic mashed potato, my way. You're gonna need about six potatoes. I like to use Maris Pipers because they're quite a floury potato. We've also got some butter, some milk, some salt and some freshly ground pepper, and some nutmeg. Equipment wise, you're gonna need a medium pot, a wooden spoon, a colander, a potato masher, and the most important one, a speed peeler. Let's get started. Sometimes when you peel potatoes with a knife, you start off with a big round potato and then you end up with like a miniature cube. So I think it's best to always use a peeler because you're not getting hardly any waste. I've already got some boiling water with some salt going in the pot already. Boil a kettle, chuck it in the pan, full whack, and it just carries on boiling. I don't have to wait around. I can't be bothered with all that. Cut the potatoes into just little thick slices. That way, it halves the cooking time. When you're putting things into a hot pan, always put it in away from you. If you go back that way, whatever's going to splash, is going to splash all up your arms and on your hands and you'll probably get burned. Put the lid back on and we'll leave those to boil just until they're soft enough for the tip of the knife to go through without any real struggle. The water's changed colour. They're, they're definitely ready. We're going to drain these off. Starting to go a bit white around the edges. Leave them in the colander over the heat because we want them to, to steam off the, the liquid a little bit more. We don't want wet mash. That's come off while they've been sitting there. Get rid of that. We're going to get our potatoes back in to the pan. We want to put a little knob of butter and a small splash of milk, a little bit of pepper and a little bit more salt. And mash. You can't over mash potatoes, so don't worry about that. I like to just push down and a half turn. Creamy, fluffy mash. Wouldn't you just love a bit of that? Now, I'm going to liven it up with some fresh nutmeg. So, the fine side of the grater. One, two, three, four, five. And that will just give it a nice, light fragrance. Try it with it. If you like it, fine. If you don't, fine. It's up to you. A lot of people like to serve it from the pan. I'm going to stick it in a bowl. And there you go. Mashed potatoes, my way. Don't forget, if you want to find out other ways to jazz up your mash, click the buttons and it will take you straight to that part of the recipe. This basic mash goes fantastically well with my chicken and bean casserole. If you want to see the videos for that recipe, just click the link now. If you'd like to try any of the other flavours, don't forget, click the buttons. Cheesy mash. This is a firm favourite in my house. My kids love it with baked beans. You could try it on top of a fish pie, with some fish fingers. Try it with whatever you want. We've already got our basic mash we made earlier. My kids like strong cheddar, so that's what I use. I'm going to need about 50 grams. Just grate the cheese into the mash. Try not to eat none before you've finished, which I always do. If you've got little bits like that, that's a nice surprise for whoever's plate that ends up on. Just mix it in. You could use red Leicester, you could use mild cheddar, you could even use blue cheese, whatever you like. Some cheeses will melt really, really easily. Some might take a little bit longer. Some might not melt completely at all, but that's all part of the fun. If you want it to melt completely, you could just put it back over the heat a little bit and stir it, but it won't hurt you if it doesn't. Beautiful, fluffy, creamy, cheesy mash. If you'd like to try any of the other flavours, don't forget, click the buttons. Right, chilli mash. 
One of my personal favourites, love chilli. We've got our basic mash recipe and a nice fresh red chilli. We don't want it to be knock your head off hot, we just want it to be a nice little kick, nice little bit of fragrance. So we're rolling it just to loosen all the seeds. Just push them out down the end. And we want to get this out as well because this is the membrane and this is where all the heat is. Be careful when you're preparing chilies. Don't rub your eyes, don't touch yourself anywhere intimately. Well, hopefully you wouldn't be doing that when you're cooking anyway, but we'll leave that alone. We're going to put these down now. We're going to chop them quite finely. Go at your own speed and keep chopping until you get nice little fine bits of chilli like that. Chuck it all in. Lovely. Mix it in nicely. Don't that just look so pretty? Beautiful little red speckles in the white clouds of mash. And there you go. Chili mash, my way. If you'd like to try any of the other flavours, don't forget, click the buttons. Irish style mash. Here I've got five spring onions and a small handful of fresh chives. 50 ml of milk, just slightly warm on the stove in a little pan. Obviously we're going to need our basic mashed potato recipe as well. The Irish have a mash called Colcannon, which has onions and cabbage or sometimes peas in it. This is a bit more of a simple version, still as tasty, but not so fussy. Get the spring onions, slice these nice and thin. Get a nice sharp knife, gets the job done half the time. We're going to take these spring onions and we're going to put them into the warm milk, just to soften them slightly and to take the edge of raw onion away. We don't want to overpower the mash and just have it tasting like raw onion. So while they're in there softening, we're going to chop the chives. Nice and fine. Chives are a soft herb. They've just got a hint of onion. Chuck them straight into the mash. Beautiful. These should be nice and soft now. We don't want to cook them all the way through because remember we still want that bit of bite. We just want to take off the harshness. Now we don't want to get all of that milk in, otherwise it will make our mash really wet. Mix those in as well. Let's get that on a plate. So there you go. Irish style mash, my way. If you'd like to try any of the other flavours, don't forget, click the buttons. mustard mash. Now this goes fantastically well with sausages and onion gravy. We all love bangers and mash, give it a go. Let's get started. This is English whole grain mustard. It's mustard with mustard seeds in. Not only does it look pretty, it tastes fantastic. I've made English mustard mash, it's lovely, but I prefer this because it looks a little bit posh as well. So we want to get a nice big teaspoonful. I'm going to just drop that in to our basic mash that we made earlier. Mix that all in. Beautiful. Fluffy and speckly. It smells amazing. So there you go. Mustard mash my way. If you'd like to try any of the other flavours, don't forget, click the buttons. Root veg mash. Today I'm using carrots and parsnips, but you can use whatever you like. Anything that grows under the ground is fine. So you could use swedes, you could use turnips, you could use sweet potatoes. And we're going to have to go back a little bit because for this recipe we're only using four potatoes instead of six. Now I've already sliced those up, got some boiling salted water, potatoes are going to go straight into there. And then we're going to get on and do the parsnips and carrots. Peel these and the carrots. Nice sharp knife, so the knife does the work and you don't have to. You want to cut them around about the same thickness as you've cut the potatoes. We want them all to cook at the same time, otherwise you'll have lumpy mash and no one likes lumpy mash. Carrots and parsnips are quite sweet, so it'll be a little bit sweeter than usual mash. This mash is another great way, if your kids are fussy and they don't like veg, or if you've got fussy adults, because we know there are a few of those as well, that are not really keen on veg, this is a great way to hide vegetables. They'll eat it, they'll love it, 
Tell him it was full of veg. They never believe you. We want to leave this to boil until everything's soft and the knife can go in without any pressure. Potatoes, yeah, they're done. Parsnips, yeah, they're done. Carrots, perfect. So we'll drain it off. We want to just leave the pan with the colander on top, just for a minute or so. That's the excess water that we've collected. So we'll get rid of that. And then we'll throw these back in the pan. We need a nice knob of butter and a little splash of milk. Let's smash this up. Push down nice and hard, maybe a half twist. We'll work it off before we eat it. Look at that, all the orange freckles changing the colour of the mash. Put a nice pinch of salt, a little bit of pepper, and finally, a little bit of fresh nutmeg. It just lifts it, that little bit. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, it smells lovely. Perfect. And there you go. Well done. So you just want to eat that right now? So, you've got to the end of this video, which means you've more than likely watched all of my ways how to make mash. If you've got your own tips and techniques or have any ideas that you'd like to share, please write them down in the comments box below. We're one big happy family at the Jane Oliver Food Tube. That includes you, Sharing's Caring. So get right in. If you like this recipe and you want to see more of mine or any of the other gang from Jamie Oliver's Food Tube, don't forget, click this link and subscribe now.